What happens when a fly enters your home in the springtime? Well, we found out the hard way, so just watch. What you thought was a home residence. Now, what you don't know is that these horse flies in the summertime, they don't lay eggs. They have fully developed maggots inside of their abdomen. So what they do is they lay the maggots on food, on skin, on anything that it feels like it can eat. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, this horse fly smashed them with the with the uh, fly squatter because there was no other way I could stop them because they too dead gone fast. Now I'm going to show you the life cycle. Okay, this is day one right here. This is day one of the maggot. Okay, so what I've done is I've put various articles of fruit inside of the container. This is a pill container, by the way. Just for comparison, it is a pill container. See, I just scratched out everything. Okay, they don't need that much space. All right. Now, these are what people consider pests. Okay, they're pests. Now, what I want you to realize is, now, you see how hard it is for you to see these guys? And I got it zoomed up. Let me zoom back some. I got it zoomed up, but I can see them. They're very, very small. They're like a millimeter. They're like the size of the smallest ant you've probably ever seen, okay? And what they're doing right now is eating the mom, eating the mom. But eventually, the mom will be depleted of all juices and goodies. And what they're going to do is they're going to move around and try to find other things to eat. Now, what I have in here is a uh, freeze-dried banana, which I've had water to, freeze-dried fruit, which I've had water to, and a raisin, okay? Now, that's all they need. This is all they need. They just need to gut load themselves. Now, over the next two or three days, this is going to get kind of putrid, and that's what they want. They want something that's putrid. They're going to tear it up like it's Sunday dinner. It'll probably be Sunday. But uh, just, I want you to see. I want you to see it. Okay? There you go. There's one. There's one right there. There's one. There's one. Do you see him? Do you see him? There's one. Did you see him move? What he's doing right now is he's trying to find a very good place to start his life cycle. Now, he's not the only one in here. See, when I, when I put this fly in here, I scraped him off of what I hit him with. And some of this maggot's siblings, now see, he's moving on. You see it? You see him? He's moving on. Some of his siblings started, you know, falling into the container. So they're already in here. They're already doing what it is they need to be doing. Already. You understand? Now he's going to find somewhere to go to get his eat on. He might not want to start eating his mom. So he's moving on. Yes. This little maggot has moseyed his way on over to this raisin that I put in there. Do you see him? You see him? Yes, indeed. I know you see him. You were right there. And I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of others haven't already done that. Yeah. They can smell. Don't know how, but they are very keen on finding food. So I'm going to stop recording for this session. And I'm going to pick back up on it tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Okay, what you have here is... The same maggots I was telling you about gorging themselves on a peanut butter cup, I think. Yes, peanut butter cup. Raisin and the inside of a, what you would call a, a ravioli. The meat part of the ravioli, the inside. I'm sorry about the focus, y'all. I'm working on it working on it's just the way my phone is set up all right there we go let's try to zoom in a little bit all right we'll make it work to our advantage now it's difficult to see it but they are there okay they are there and 
they are getting their crush on. Now, if I was to open this up, let me open it up for you. Uh, open it up so we can get a better view. What I have inside is, like I said, you got a banana inside of ravioli. That's the meat because they need meat. Pieces of paper, just for miscellaneous. And that right there on the on the red right side, that is a Reese's peanut butter cup. Now the purpose to me doing for doing this is because I want y'all to see exactly what these flies do when they get in your house. Okay, they can do this on your skin if you stay still long enough for them to do it. This is your common horse fly, and they come out around May, June, and July. And what they do. Well, you know, they don't even have to be a horse fly. It could be just a big, a fly that's much bigger than a house fly. And they already have maggots inside of them. They don't have to lay eggs. They actually lay maggots. Now, if you were to say if you had a fly squad and you did what I did and you smacked them, but you left his carcass right there, the maggots will actually move about from that carcass around until they can actually find something to eat. And that could be you. If you lay down after you killed the fly, that maggot can move probably a good, what we would consider two to three hundred feet away from where you killed that fly to find food. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it can't find food, then guess what, baby? You can be that food. Now, say you got an open wound or something on you. Or maybe you just laying there. You know, you, you got to think about stuff like that. They're looking for something to eat. Flesh, protein. Okay, this is still day number one, y'all. Cause I want you to keep. I want you to know just how long it actually takes for these big flies to get in your house and actually turn into flies. You would be shocked. Okay, and that's why I'm doing this. Now you probably haven't been able to see one single fly since I've. I mean, excuse me, one maggot since I started recording. That's because they have, there's one right there, I see it. That's because they have bored their way inside of whatever they're going to eat. Now, this particular maggot right here, do you see it? It's moving, okay? It's moving. It's trying to find its way to wherever that meat that meat source is. He's, it, he can, they can smell. They don't need an antenna. They can actually smell the air. I don't know how they do it. But they can smell the air. And when they smell the air and they sense that there's something like meat about, oh, they go. They go, they go, they go. And you would be surprised how much ground they can cover being so they're going small. Okay? The fly that I killed had probably roughly about 20 to 30 individual maggots inside of it to my knowledge and that's crazy and the thing about it is each one of these maggots there's one right there i didn't even pay attention it was trying to actually crawl up the side of the of the container and if i hadn't caught it it might would have got out but what i'm trying to tell you is these individual these maggots man they cover so much ground you would be shocked and how much ground they can cover in just a little bit of time. All right, I'm going to shut it down so I can take care of this, but I'm going to come back for day number two. Okay, y'all, this is day number two. Going on day number three. Now, what you're seeing is the same group of maggots that came out of that fly in the same bottle. But as you can see, after only 48 hours, these suckers done got fat. They done got fat. Super fat. We got funguses growing in here from the body parts of the dead fly, probably had spores on it or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? That stuff grows <laughs> immensely. And I've learned that maggots don't like fresh food. They like stuff that has set for a while and has gotten rotten, almost like, not rotten, but you know, full of bacteria. That's what they like. They like that type of shit. That's why they eat dead stuff. They are designed to eat dead things. You know what I'm saying? 
what I put in here was originally was just like a Reese cup chocolate, little pieces of ravioli. They 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 touched it and then they kept it moving. I I put um freeze dried banana, took some water, put a little water on it. They nibbled on it, but when I put egg in there, and this come from um, Burger King, I think. I put egg in there, and it's like it only took an hour or so for the egg to cool off, and the next thing I know, these niggas was eating it. And I could tell because their body parts are starting to get fat, and they starting to look yellow, which tells me they've been eating yellow stuff. As long as it's dark, they won't, what they call, go inside, go inside of whatever they're eating. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's dark, they'll stay pretty much on the outside where you can see them. You see what I'm saying? Where you can actually see what they're doing. But when you add light, and I didn't think maggots had eyes, but they actually can tell that there's light around some kind of way. I don't know how, but they do. And they they actually either are repelled from it or actually like it. I don't know. I'm, I haven't discovered which one it is. I do know that they move a lot more when it's light. Um, I put a piece of sausage in there too just as a, you know, a backup because I didn't know whether they was going to eat that egg or not. You know what I'm saying? And you probably said, that's going to get real nasty sitting up in there. I don't think so because I think before this food that I put in here, even though it's not edible anymore. I think before it gets to a point where you cannot and would not open the top because of the stench or whatever, before it gets to that point, these maggots will already be in pupae mode because I'm telling you, these 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 maggots, they grow so fucking fast. And that is the point to me doing what I'm doing right now. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about. I want you to I want you to see it. Because like I told you, a fly came into the building. And you know, it was a big fly. You know what I'm saying? So I I popped him with the little fly squatter. He fell and just like every other time I hit him, I saw these little worms in him. You know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck is that? So I said, "You know what? And all I had was a pill bottle available, so I grabbed him. I grabbed that shit. You know what I'm saying?" I ain't gonna say I grabbed them like, you know, Ugh, that's nasty. Well, I collected what I saw and I put it in a pill bottle and yes, I was correct. It was maggots in it. So I said, you know what? I made a bet with some of my people. I said, you know, just like I'm telling you, I said these maggots are gonna be full grown within eight days, nine days at the most. You know what I'm saying? And this is the same thing that'll happen if they get in your house and they find food. Or maybe you'll be the food. Maybe they'll lay the egg on you. But these are American flies. And I'm not sure whether they were brought over here, but these are the flies that you can find around America. any dumpster. Any dumpster. You understand what I'm saying? And I need y'all to know exactly what can happen at that point. You see what I'm saying? What can happen? Alright y'all. We're going to let it go right now. And I'm going to skip to my loo. And I'll come back. Day number three. Alright. This is day number two. They done turned into some fat fucks. All of them. Alright. Peace. All right, fellas and women and scientists, this is the horsefly, and this would make, let me see, this would make day number five. This is day number five, y'all. Hold on, let me get this, let me get this, let me get this straight. It's always the focus that want to give me the most trouble. You see, they done decided to hide out at the bottom of the container today. There it go. Look at them fat fucking maggots. You see them? Five days ago, they were so small that they came out of the fly's abdomen after 
I smacked it with the flask of water. The things was extremely small. In only five days, they have more than increased their size over a hundred times. These things are almost a inch in length, especially this big one right here in the middle. A inch. You understand? These are horsefly maggots. Them, the regular maggots are about half this size. And once they get that size, they, you know, they cocoon and like four to five to sometimes even nine days, they come out as full flies. But horse flies are a little bit different. When they go in their cocoons, they could be in them things for up to two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And then they come out as full flies. And what they're eating, like I told you before, is egg and sausage. Sausages and eggs. It's disgusting, right? This is how they eat. You see how it keeps flicking his head? It's snatching. It's a regular, just like a snail. And that's why it hurt when they get on you. What they do is they pinch. They pinch a chunk right off into their mouth. So doing that, they can consume large amounts of food in a short amount of time. Like 100 maggots can reduce a mouse down to bones in less than two days. You understand? That's how much they eat. These, you know, I, it ain't, I thought I had about 10 of them, but I, I think it's about, it's less than, I think it's about nine. But you see how this egg right here has these little pieces that's missing from it? Like if you really, really look at it, let me show you. If you really look at it, uh, let, me, let me show you, let me show you. I'm trying to get it, y'all, give me a second. If you really look at it, you see how those little pieces are missing on the edges? That come from these daggone maggots pulling, 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 and snatching. It's like somebody pinching, pinching you, but when they pull back, they're snatching pieces of you with that pinch. That's how maggots eat. And as you can see, they're all under the bottom. Before I introduced light, they were all on the outsides. They got a small little flat head that bites stuff, and the back part of them is a is a fat opening that looks like an anus with two little dots you know and that's what i believe that they breathe they breathe out of the back of themselves okay these are horse flies horse fly maggots i'm trying to understand when they when they pupate and turn into cocoons do they actually come out backwards because it seems like they do it seems like when they go into the cocoon and when they break out of the cocoon the head comes out where the butt was. And that would explain the two dots in the back of them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. But I'm going to find out. Okay, y'all. This is day number five. Day number five, y'all. Number five. Sin is number five. Day number six. Fly came into the daggone warehouse. Smacked him with a daggone fly swap. And I immediately noticed that he had live maggots inside him. This was a big fly. So I caught him and I put him in his pill bottle. This is day number six, y'all. You know, what you're seeing here are the maggots, okay? They're not moving anymore. They have eaten and eaten and eaten and they have grown to about 600 times the size they was when I first saw them wiggling out of the fly. That they were inside, you know what I'm saying? And that's crazy. Okay, there's about six of them. And they have stopped eating. They have stopped moving. And they are, you would think they were dead if you didn't know any better, you know what I'm saying? But they are not dead. They are now in what they call, in, in what they, with their suspended sedation, I call it. But what's going to happen is, is they're going to change colors. Now, that's the mouth right there. That was the mouth part that was eating everything. When that stops moving, <clears throat> then they have stopped eating. That thing moves constantly. That's where the brain is. Okay, what has happened is they're in, they're in that sedated mode where they're going to start pupating. This is what the, the pre-pubescent stage is like. They're going to turn into a pupil, and this is going to turn brown. 
they're going to all turn brown. So what I did was I put a tissue inside there with a little moisture in it to keep the inside of this. I took all the stuff that they were eating, the rotten meat and eggs and stuff, I took all that out. You know what I'm saying? Didn't sanitize or sterilize because that would have killed them. So I just put a tissue in there with a little moisture in it to keep it moist on the inside. And I'm going to wait and see what happens, okay? Now, what's, what, from my experience, what's going to happen, they're going to turn brown. And once they turn brown on the inside of their body, their um, stem cells are going to turn them into flies. So when they start moving again, they will be flies. They won't be maggots any longer, okay? And that's crazy, right? And this is the point. This is the whole point to this whole thing. What I was doing was to show y'all that a fly can come into your residence, lay eggs, and if the maggots find food, within five days, they will get to this size and they will stop eating and turn into cocoons. Now, it's going to take a few days for them to be like this before they turn into flies, but we'll keep going, okay? It's day number six. Okay, all y'all that have been watching me and been, you know, paying attention to my little fly series, this is how it end up. This is day number 16. Day number 16. Now, I told you from day number one what happened, right? Now, inside of here is probably maybe one or two of the big fly cocoons. But if you look very carefully, you'll probably see little cocoons in there, right? Do you want to know what happened? A daggone net got into this through these little top holes right here. One, maybe two, three at the most. And they laid eggs everywhere. So every one of these brown things that you see right here were maggots. They have changed over into cocoons. And within a day, maybe two or three days, there'll be nets. So if I left this open the way it is now, there'll be nets everywhere. Do you understand? It's at least 50 nets in here that I can count. If you look at the bottom very carefully, you will see living maggots allow me to find you one there right there living maggots those are net maggots remember the maggots that I showed you before they were big right those were the fly maggots now let me see if I can find that fly cocoon because there's a bunch of cocoons in here for these guys, but I can't seem to locate that one big fly cocoon. There it is. All right, there it is. Let me back up. One is right there. One is right there. Maybe the maggots know not to eat in it. Maybe they, I don't know. I have no idea, but I do know that that is a fly's cocoon. Right there. Okay, this is day number 14. I'm going to go ahead and post this. And when this comes to fruition, I'm just going to make a whole nother video. So y'all enjoy. Day number 14. Oh yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm changing this from this, what you see in here, because it's going to be flies in there. And I'm going to take this cup, put it over the top, and seal it from the bottom. That way I can seal all of the flies and the maggots can still do what the hell they do. Alright, peace.